We just got a brand new weekly reset in Marvel's Avengers that added new priority missions that give you amazing rewards. Someone got into the secret lab already and we got some awesome footage of that. There are hints at what future content we can expect and also the more immediate changes that are coming to the game. So a lot to go over, I will tell you everything you need to know in this video. A like would really help the channel out and let's go. The second 2000 credit pack giveaway is still going on so you don't don't have to spend any money but can still get things from the marketplace i have a link in the pinned comments for if you want to participate and be sure you are a subscriber of the channel before you enter good luck i will reach out to the winner via the email and yes every weekly reset they also add new items to the store a new outfit for captain america with a leather jacket I main cap, but I'm just not really feeling this one. I think it's mostly because of the boring colors. Miss Marvel got a pretty cool new epic suit, although I feel that her outfits are overall just too similar at this point. No, the coolest new addition has to be the new Thor Rockstar outfit that is a little funky with the boots and the shoulder pads. But overall, these resets have just been recycling outfits that we've already seen or that were already available the week before it. And the cosmetic fender on the helicarrier is also not that exciting this week. It just has items that we've already seen before in a previous weekly selection. I really hope they improve this so it's more exciting to visit these stores each week. Every week we also get a new community challenge that is sadly exclusive to PlayStation this week because they of course got a deal going on. It has us defeat enemies with melee attacks for a Miss Marvel nameplate that you see right here. And every month PlayStation will have one exclusive community challenge while the others will be everywhere. But the most important part of a weekly reset are the new priority missions that are false this week. So you can just jump into these missions and immediately try and find the fault and skip everything else. Something you can for example easily do with Thor and then open the vault and complete it after taking the elevator. The desert vault is the low priority mission that gives you 500 units and a legendary if you got the 5 stars. And the snowy tundra vault is the high power level priority mission that requires you to have 120 as a power level to be able to start the mission. And also for this one, just skip everything and get to the vault and complete that sequence to get 50 upgrade modules and another legendary item if you get the 5 star rating. Like everything else is the same for this mission, only that end of the mission reward is different. And it is a one time weekly thing as you might know. So you have till Thursday next week to complete it before it also rotates out. And important is that they are moving to a global weekly reset timer starting next week. And that reset timer will be 10 a.m. Pacific time. Because of this, we will get 22 challenge points per superhero because of the shorter weekly window, which is really nice. And this will be live with the new update. And then you got till September 24th to log into the game and claim those points. And again, they are not available right now, but after the new update drops. And I will touch on that new update in a second. But first, I want to take a look at the legendary items that you can get from these priority missions. Because they are namely extremely unique and have special perks that I think you can only get from these priority missions. So totally play them with the character that you want the reward for it namely gives you benefits for priority missions like here i got 20 percent increased damage when doing one of those missions but more interesting is that after the desert fault priority mission i got an item called the ultimate protector that gives you increased stun damage when on a cloning lab mission and yes that mission is not out yet we also got Lab Breaker on gear from Miss Marvel, increasing her damage. And for Thor, you can have a belt that increases your charge speed for all heroics during a cloning lab mission, which is pretty insane and likely needed because this raid-like activity that was already teased in the recent war table should be pretty challenging and something crazy now happened. Sammy reached out to me on Twitter at Uraptor because he suddenly got this mission on his screen in the Utah Badlands. So again, it was formerly known as the Secret Lab, but in the game it's actually called the AIM Cloning Lab. 
It even has a different icon than what we saw before. And friend Mirabella the Third actually joined up with Sammy to do this mission live on his stream. So we got some footage from his stream that I will also link to in the video description. So if you want to check out a more in-depth look at this brand new encounter, then totally check that out. But I also got some extra info from Sammy via the input at Jarepta.com email address. And totally if you got some interesting things, reach out to me there. So while the mission card says power 155, you should be able to enter at 140 already. And he could only play it on challenge rank 2. So maybe they will launch it with only challenge rank 2. And then maybe at higher difficulties later. Like overall, this mission should launch any moment now for everyone. I would not be surprised if it was this weekend actually. Maybe they were testing it and flipped the switch for a short moment. But you gotta come prepared. Because the enemies that we see here in the friend Mirabella stream were 157 power level. And there are a ton of them. They also added a new objective that was based on time. So that you had to complete a certain section within a specific time window. Otherwise you would lose a star. Overall the area looks sadly very similar compared to other missions. The outdoor area where you start was actually pretty cool though. And at one point they also reached from the looks of it a pretty challenging puzzle. Again link to friends footage in the video description where you see them try. I cannot wait to play this for myself. It is also good to note that it's really multiplayer focused thanks to puzzles like this. When Sammy tried the mission first himself, he was all alone. So without his AI, so you really need to assemble a team of real players to do this mission. And when we know more about the cloning lab, I'll of course let you know here on the channel. We might also get, by the way, a red Joe Fixit outfit. Reddit user Brian got this suddenly when playing the Hulk. While we of course do not have that in the game right now. Like sure, I prefer completely new outfits, but as someone who really loves red, I want to see this outfit in the game as well. But more exciting are of course new heroes. And we might have an idea of who we can expect in the next couple of months. Thanks to Sanders Presents who talked about a data mine in the recent PC version. And I will leave a link to his video in the video description. We know that Kate Bishop is of course coming at the end of October. And then Hawkeye in November. And the heroes that we get after that are very likely Black Panther, Captain Marvel and War Machine. Because in the files they found challenge cards for those heroes and that of course like makes sense if they become playable. I'm curious if they will stick to this monthly release window. It seems a bit fast to then have the new hero already in December. But yeah, we will have to wait and see. But before all this, we get the biggest update since launch. 1.3.0. Maybe it's already up by the time you watch this. Because it should be out before Saturday. And Megan Mary from Crystal Dynamics already noted that it will be more than 7 pages long. So again, it will be very big. And then shortly after that, we get information about loot drops. Because it's kind of unsure where we get things right now. And that should happen during the weekend. And I will of course keep you up to date here. So totally subscribe for everything on Marvel's Avengers. Including a breakdown of that new update when it goes live. A like on the video would really help the channel out. And totally check out my previous video on how to get to the max power level of 150 as soon as possible. For now though, I will speak to you next time. And goodbye.